This is the second chapter about string theory. In today's episode, we will talk about what is the size of a string. Let's enjoy! In a previous episode, we did a brief introduction about string theory. We explained that the dynamic of the strings is governed by the Nambu Goto action, which corresponds to the invariant element of area described by the strings when they move through the space time. The Nambu Goto action is invariant under changes of parametrization. The parameters in question are the spatial and temporal coordinates of the string itself. Besides this, the Nambu Goto action contains one free parameter, namely the string tension. The string tension, as its name suggests, is related to the tension accumulated by the string. All the mass of the string is obtained through its tension. In other words, the strings are naturally massless and the tension generates their effective mass. For understanding the origin of the mass of the strings, imagine an ordinary string with some initial mass m. Imagine now that we pull it, generating then some tension. The equivalence mass energy discovered by Einstein suggests that the energy which the string gets due to its tension is just equivalent to an increase on its mass in an amount calculated via special relativity. If for any reason a stretched string in repose doesn't have any mass, then all its effective mass would be generated by the energy due to its tension. The tension of the string then generates its mass. Actually, the Higgs mechanism in string theory appears when we stretch an open string which is attached to some different We will discuss more about this aspect in future episodes. Interestingly, the tension of the string not only influences its mass, but it also affects the size of the string. In fact, the string length is a scale measuring the size of a string, and it depends on the string's tension at the most basic level. The larger the tension of the string is, the shorter will be its size. The strings can have any size. The minimal size which a string could have would be the plank length, which is the shortest possible scale in physics in agreement with all the formulations of quantum gravity. The plank scale then marks the maximal possible tension which a string could have. In summary, the mass of the strings is generated through their tension. Additionally, the size of the strings is also controlled by the same tension parameter. If you like this video, please give us a like, share the link, and subscribe to the channel. More videos in Spanish and in English are coming very soon. Continue with us.